Hello, Claire Maxwell here with the Alexander Technique. I'm teaching this work for about 17 years now, and I've been developing a new way of mapping our anatomy, and in particular our central nervous system, um, as it's expressed at the level of our skin. So the skin is an organ that gives us a lot of sensory information, and um, I'm finding that my study of the structure of the central nervous system is revealing to me even more than I already knew why the principles of the Alexander Technique are so helpful for living. And I've been starting at the top of the central nervous system, working our way through the cranial nerves and the cervical nerves that have a dermatome or an, an area of skin to which they bring sensation. We went from the trigeminal nerve in the face to the cervical nerves of the skin of the neck and the arms, and I was about to go down um, into the torso, and I realized I'd missed one. And it's a really important one. It's the vagus nerve, which is the 10th cranial nerve. And um, there's a lot of very interesting work going on uh, where people are studying vagal, what they call vagal tone, or the tone of the part of the, the connection of the vagus nerve with all of its uh, parts, all the parts that it innervates. Um, it innervates basically all of the autonomic functions in your organ systems, uh, your heart rate, your, the rate that you're breathing, um, all of your digestive organs, and actually, if I can back up a little bit, um, it emerges from the, you know, from your brain on either side, right behind your ear, and it goes all the way down and kind of delicately wrapped around your heart and your lungs, and it branches out and it goes all the way down into your belly. And it's called the wandering nerve. It's very beautiful. And uh, it has a tiny area of skin to which it brings sensation. And I'm going to show you a picture of where that area is. It's the inside of your ear canal. And so I've kind of colored that with a, a dark pen there. The, highlighted section is a cervical nerve, the second cervical nerve, but the vagus nerve is this little area inside your ear. And um, it's a really fun place to bring sensation to. So um, just to have an understanding uh, this is, as far as your dermatomes are concerned, the area of your ear is kind of like Grand Central Station. So the trigeminal nerve is enervating all the skin of the forward part, part <laughs> of your face, including this little ear flap here, so you can kind of touch it. So that forward part of your head is, goes with the trigeminal nerve. And then behind that part, the second cervical nerve brings sensation to this whole strip of skin, including your ear underneath your jaw here where the tongue comes. And it goes up and all the way around the back of your head. And if you know babies, when they're young and they can't lift their head and they roll and roll and roll their head, they can wear this area here bald a little bit. So that's um, a cervical nerve. Uh, and it innervates all of that skin around this area, which is so key. Um, but the vagus is the skin inside. So it's kind of 
fun to get in there. And I have two ways that I do it. So one, I take my fingers kind of like this, and I just take a hold of this flap, and I kind of get my thumb inside the ear canal a little bit, and I just kind of lift up in there. You want to be very delicate. You can see it's kind of lifting my ears. And I find when I do that, that it does kind of stimulate my breathing. So I don't know if that's stimulating my vagal tone, but that's what they say, that, you, that the, breath, the vagal tone is measured by um, the length of your breath, which is related to your diaphragmatic tone as well. The other way you can do it is by taking this back cartilage of your ear and just kind of lifting up there a little bit. Hmm. And that kind of does it too, and it just it feels nice. Um, now, isn't it interesting that Alexander himself um, discovered that this coordination of the head in relationship to the spine was so important for so many things, um, and that some space and ease in this area could bring about uh, benefits all the way through the system. So what's good for this balance between your head and your spine is really good for everything. And this is an easy, quick little way to get in there. So I hope you find that helpful. Um, the vagus nerve has a dermatome. Don't forget. Peace and love. Bye.